Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Linux Mitch. Today I'm running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager as usual. And I'm going to show you how to change your kernel, how to have more than one kernel installed, how to log into the kernel of your choice, and how to delete the kernel. So at the end of the day, you only have one kernel again. So I'm going to open up Firefox and go to the Arch Linux wiki webpage. So I'm on the Arch Linux wiki webpage. This page is called officially supported kernels. And as you can see, Arch Linux has five kernels that are officially supported. You can also download kernels from the AUR, the Arch user repository. But then you're going to have to build them and it's going to take a long time and I wouldn't do that. So right now I have the long term support kernel installed. And I'm going to install the stable kernel and show you how to log into it. So let's go back to my terminal. So a command you can type in is this, uname-r. And as you can see, I have the long-term support kernel installed. So if you did not download my zesh-rc file, you'll have to type in this command, sudo pacman s. Linux and hit enter. But if you have my zesh-rc file, then you can type in this command, install Linux. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna hit my password. It's installing the Linux stable kernel. And it's just about finished downloading it. Now, after you download a kernel, before you reboot, you have to type in a command to make your grub configuration. If you don't, you won't be able to log into your system and you're gonna have to use a rescue ISO or a thumb drive to fix it. Now I've done that. It's a little bit complicated, but it can be done. I've done it a couple of times, which I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. So just remember to make your grub. Now, if you don't have my zesh-rc file, at this point, you'll have to type in this command. sudo grub mkconfig dash o. Now that's an o and not a zero. Slash boot. grub slash grub period cfg and hit enter let it run through it only takes a second to run through and then reboot but if you do have my zesh rc file installed you don't have to type in this long command all you got to do is type in mk grub hit enter and it's done. Now you're going to reboot. And you have to be quick because when you're rebooting, you have to hit your arrow key and log into the advanced settings. And then you can choose which kernel you want to boot into because there's two kernels installed in the system now. I'm going to hit type in reboot, hit enter, have my finger on the uh, arrow key. And push it down now. When you get to the screen, you push it down and you can go into advanced settings, advanced options for Arch Linux. Hit enter. And now you can see in the list, I have two kernels installed. I have the long term support kernel and the stable kernel. The third one is the stable kernel. Now, if you have more than one kernel installed and you don't log into that advanced menu, it will automatically log into the first kernel on the list which happens to be LTS in my particular case. So you use this. I'm going to log into the stable kernel, which is the third one. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm logging into the stable kernel. I'm at my login manager. I'm going to put my password in. I'm going to refresh the screen to make it larger print. You don't have to do this when you're 
system is on bare metal. It's only because it's a virtual machine. Now I'm going to open up my terminal. Xterm is my favorite terminal. Just going to make it a little larger. And again, you don't have to do that if it's on bare metal. It's just because it's a virtual machine. I'm going to type in this command, uname-r. Now I'm logged into the stable kernel. So you can have more than one kernel on your system and go into the advanced settings and choose which one you want to log into. Now let's say I don't want to have two kernels in my system. I want to delete the long-term support kernel. So there's two ways to do it. If you don't have my zesh-rc file, you have to type in this command, sudo pacman capital R Linux LTS. Hit enter, let it run through and remove the kernel. And then you have to make your grub configuration. But if you do have my zesh-rc file, you're going to type in this command, remove Linux LTS. And let's do it. Hit enter, put your password in, and it's removing the long-term support kernel, so there'll only be one kernel on the system. So it's removed it. Now you got to make your grub configuration. Again, if you don't have my zesh-rc file, you're going to type in sudo grub mkconfig dash o, and that's an o and not a zero root slash grub slash grub period cfg hit enter and then let it run through and reboot but if you do have my zesh-rc file you're going to type in this command mk grub let it run through and let's reboot now when we reboot we don't have to go into the advanced menu but I'm going to log into it just to show you that I don't have two kernels installed anymore. So I'm going to reboot. I'm going to have my finger ready. There we go. Stop it on the screen. Go into advanced menu. And as you can see, the long-term support kernel is gone. And I only have the stable kernel left. So let's log into it. Put my password in. Refresh the screen. And let's go into a terminal. Let's call up Xterm. Let's make it a little larger. Let's type in uname dash R. And as you can see, I'm logged into the stable kernel. I'm going to close my terminal. So today I showed you how to install a kernel how to make your grub configuration, how to have more than one kernel installed on your system, how to choose which kernel you're going to log into, and how to delete a kernel so you only have one kernel in your system again. Don't forget to push that button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mensch.